So let's move on in pregnancy to a bit later and talk about preeclampsia. So preeclampsia or pregnancy uh, induced hypertension is this particular phenomenon and we won't go and get into the science of it in which you get this development of, of hypertension, proteinuria and edema in pregnancy. So who gets it? Well, it's, it's usually associated particularly with the, the second on the list here, which is premia gravida, first pregnancy. But it also, a risk factor of this is if there's 10 years or more since the last pregnancy. It's commoner in older women at first pregnancy or, or subsequent pregnancies, women who are very overweight, family history of preeclampsia, and in multiple pregnancies, twins, etc. So preeclampsia. It often presents with headaches, first of all, often frontal headaches, swelling, face, hands and feet. In more severe cases, the patient can go on to liver tenderness, blurring of the vision, epigastric pain. And then by this stage, you're often not very far away from seizure, seizure development and actual eclampsia. So by the time you're getting more than two or three symptoms, you're into the more serious risks. The platelet count can fall and the liver function tests can be abnormal. And there's a particularly severe variant of preeclampsia known as the HELP syndrome, in which you get hemolysis along with elevated liver enzymes and low platelets. And that's the combination of these phenomena that we've seen here. And that's a particularly aggressive and severe form. So that's preeclampsia, and of course the, the main management for preeclampsia is delivery, because delivering the infant will stop the whole condition. But along the, the way to that, we may have to intervene. Antihypertensives are used if the blood pressure rises above certain thresholds, and it's usually systolic above 160 and diastolic above 110. So that's when we in emergency medicine would start usually libitalol, which can be used orally or intravenously, and alternatives are nifedipine and hydralazine, which is given IV. So other drugs like ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, are not used for preeclampsia. If we're concerned about the risk of progression to eclampsia, then we should use magnesium prophylactically, intravenous magnesium, reduces the risk of progressing to eclampsia. And if in the situation that seizures actually do develop perhaps because of a very late presentation then magnesium is the treatment of choice four grams of magnesium intravenously and then a, a follow-up infusion and that's the treatment of choice for seizures from preeclampsia 